science, we can understand exactly what just happened. Here we have two identical pistons, piston A and piston B. Piston B is filled with water and connected to A with a tube. When Stuart jumps on piston A, nothing moves because piston A is as low as it can go. Once Stuart gets on top of piston B, what do you think will happen? That's right, piston B moves down. Now Pascal's law tells us that pushing on the water with piston B causes the water to push in every direction, including on piston A. Stuart's weight is pushing down on piston B, which is pushing on the water, and because nothing is holding piston A down, it raises up. Now what happens when Kevin jumps on top of piston A? Right. When Kevin jumps on top of piston A, both pistons stop because now Kevin is pushing down on piston A with the same amount of force that Stuart is pushing down on piston B. This makes the system balanced. What do you think will happen when Bob climbs on top of Stuart? Exactly, piston B moves down which pushes piston A up. This is because we now have two minions pushing down on piston B and one pushing down on piston A. Now Bob has jumped off. Is anything going to move? No, that's right, because the pistons are balanced again. But that's a problem for Kevin, because piston A is all the way up and he is stuck there. How could Stuart help get Kevin down? That's right, Stuart can jump off. So now Stuart has jumped off and things are unbalanced again. This makes Kevin's piston move down, which pushes piston B back up. So as a recap, Pascal's law tells us that a confined incompressible fluid acts evenly in all directions. Pascal's law allows us to transmit force between two pistons. This is the fundamental reason the can crusher works. 